Hello lovelies, in this video I'm going to be taking you through my predictions for OCR A, A-Level Chemistry, Paper 1. So if you're stuck with where to start revising or if you're not 100% sure which areas you should be focused on, this is the list of things that I suggest. But obviously you should revise absolutely everything that could come up in this paper because even though I'm pretty good at this, I have not seen the papers, I'm not affiliated with any exam boards, so I do not 100% know what is going to come up. So this is my list of, if I was doing it, these are the topics that I would start my revision with. Now, if you want more help than this, then there is a predictive paper that I've written and to help you interpret all the questions, to help you lay out your answers in a way that the examiners will give you lots and lots of marks for, we've done video walkthroughs of this predicted paper as well. They're all linked down in the description down below, as long as your biology along with your chem maths as well, so that you can interpret questions, look for any red flags the examiners are leaving you, any signposts of what sort of things they want you to write in the answer, um, and how to deal with the multiple choice question section, because we know that is a big, big section of the paper that you really shouldn't be spending too much time on. So we're aiming for about one mark a minute for the multiple choice questions and answering those questions is a skill. It is a very different skill to answering six mark questions, very different skills to answering the massive type of questions. So in the predictive paper walkthrough we've taught you the skills to be able to answer the multiple choice questions in one minute, two minutes max. But there are lots and lots of tips, hints and tricks that you can pick up from watching the video where you can take into exam where you can look at the four answers, immediately to count two of them, get halfway through the calculation um, and then work out which one that left over is actually the real answer. So loads and loads of skills, exam skills, not just the knowledge and not just the predicted questions. So here's most of things where I suggest you start your revision on. Now obviously you need to be really really secure in your maths in chemistry. We know the topic, the, the mathsy topic, comes up and be integrated into nearly everything. Um, if you are struggling with this then there is a workbook that I've done which takes you through loads and loads of maths and chemistry. It's really really cheap and you can go and download it and have a look at those. But it's well worth spending some time practicing all of your maths in chemistry. So the topics that I like, buffers. So how do buffers actually work and then buffer calculations as well. And we can link this through into Ka and Kw expressions and calculations. So shapes of molecules, not only be able to draw them, the bond angles, names them, but the shapes of ions as well and the reasoning behind them having these shapes. The link between the properties and the structures of the main compound so ionic, covalent, giants, lattice, all of those, that is really, really important. It's one that I really fancy for this year. A topic that comes up nearly every single year is born harbour cycles, or as my notes keeps auto-correcting itself, to born hater cycles. I don't know why my phone really has something against born harbour cycles, but please understand your born harbour cycles, what goes where, how to get from one place, all the way around or do, using different routes to get from one place to another place and then everything to do with your lattice enthalpies so all of the, the equations what goes on each line um, this comes up nearly every single year so it's something that's definitely worth investing your time in. So electrochemical cells so all the examples you know this and being able to apply this to a new situation so all of the half equations the redox and the EMF calculations that go with that as well. Transition metals is one of my favourite topics if you do not know all of the colours of your irons then please get those onto some flashcards and start learning those straight away because this is an amazing topic and it can be applied in so many different ways. So I only know the colours of your irons will transmission but the, the shapes of the complex iron, substitution reactions with monodentate and bidentate ligands as well. Um, all of the equations, there are lots of example equations in the specification that you are expected to know, expected to be able to recall, so go and look at what those are. So equilibrium is a big topic that I fancy for this year, so combining that with mole fractions, being able to write the, the expressions for equilibrium, and then the changes that are involved in it as well. Hydrated salts, water of crystallisation, and then the last topic, linking it all through, is redox titration. Um, your redox titration calculations can generally be like a really really big calculation. They can seem to be really scary but once you learn the method of doing this 
um, they're actually not. So I'm going to link, I can't remember which side it is, I'm going to link a couple of videos that I've done working you through loads and loads of examples of redox titrations because they can be scary, but even if you start them and get halfway through and then get stuck, you've probably still picked up loads and loads of marks anyway. Um, so that is what I fancy as your starter revision list for OCR in chemistry paper one. You can go and get the predictive paper, watch the predictive paper, watch my videos on redox titration, do my combinatorial analysis and my maths and chemistry workbook. Um, I have tried to provide so much stuff for you to make your life as easy as possible. Good luck guys. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.